Hello, I'm John. I'm a field sales engineer with Omron. Welcome to this Omron Tech Talk. We're going to look at how to export data from the PLC to Microsoft Excel using CX Compilate. In this video, we will use SysMac Studio, SysMac Gateway, Network Configurator, and Microsoft Visual Studio. In a previous video, we looked at an application where we take a variable array from the PLC and link that to SysMac Gateway tag table. And we achieved this by using Network Configurator, where we have an Ethernet IP network, an NX102 PLC, and SysMac Gateway and the, the connection exchanges variable array, variable name, variable array. Okay, so if you look at monitoring this, it's, it's, it's connected and working, working correctly. In the Visual Studio application, we had um, the possibility here to monitor monitor for a change in that PLC array and we set a, a variable compilate method here to set event variable name and variable ID and then whenever the variable value changed we were able to go and populate uh, text boxes so let's just run that there again Okay, so switch over to SysMac Studio. So we start enabling or monitoring, and then we change a value in the PLC. We populate the text boxes with the PLC, the PLC data. Okay, so what if we wanted to take that data and export it to Excel. Okay, so I've added three buttons to open the file, to export and to close. So the first thing we need to do is add some functionality. So add a reference and we're going to search for Microsoft. Okay, so I picked up this before. So Microsoft Office Interop and select and say OK. So it's added it to our application. So if we go into the code, here's our open button. We must put in a, a using statement using microsoft.office. We can make we can make um, an alias rather than having to type all that we can just use Excel underscore Excel and so we'll um We'll make a um, a global variable. Um, no, it's not that, it's Excel. We're going to create a class called Excel. So if I 
go over here and say add add a class excel.cs that appears over here and um, in this class we want to hold all the functionality so uh, first thing we need to do is create some variables string the path and underscore dot application okay so again we have to use using Microsoft dot office dot Okay, and um, we call this my Excel is equal to new Excel application. Do -do. Okay, so I didn't put in the dot Excel. Okay, so underscore Excel dot workbook WB, and we also have Excel dot worksheet WS, let's say. And then we have a constructor and it'll take a string which is the path where is the excel file and then an integer to hold the sheet number okay so path is even the path and um, workbook is equal to my excel dot workbooks uh, dot open and then put in the path of the file to open and then worksheet is equal to my excel dot worksheets um, and then we put in whatever sheet number we pass in and we can make it visible Okay, so the next thing we need to do is have a um, an Excel write method. So public void because it's not going to return anything. Excel write, and then that will take in. So we're going to write information into an Excel sheet. So we need to know which cell. So int row. Uh, an integer then for the column and then a string for the content um, so it'll be worksheet dot cells and the cells will be the row column 
and that will equal content. It looks okay. And then we want the third button we want is uh, is a is to close the function. I close the, uh, the file. So workbook.close. Okay, so now we go back to the uh, back to the form, and we've now created a local um, instance of that class. Okay, so down on the the open button, uh, down on the open button, we can then make my Excel dot no is equal to new Excel and we put the path um the path of the uh, where where our file is so it's in D colon backslash users nx print dot xls x and we want to open up sheet number one And then we need, um, so that should open it. So now, now we want to send information. So we're going to use a, we're going to use the, the, the data from our variable array. So let's double click on this. So in the right, uh, so it'll be my Excel dot Excel right. And then we uh, are going to actually we're going to open up um, Excel to look at our pages to where we want to. Uh, so if this is our Excel application, that's that'll be row one, column one. So it'll be column two, row twelve. Okay. To column 12. So we can go 12, comma 2, comma variable complex dot read variable. Variable array element zero um, and we want to make that take that there and make it into a string because it's currently an integer dot two string and semicolon okay so we copy that okay so I've <clears throat> I filled this out so we've got 10 variables and these are the cells we're going to put them into and these are the elements of the array and then finally I'm going to close the Excel so it's my Excel dot close. Okay. Actually, there's one other thing we have to do is to say um, variable complete dot active. 
Sigla şu. Okay, we can go ahead and run this. So open the Excel file. Sorry, open the Excel file. So the Excel file opened. And we have variables in our array, values in our array, and then we write to, so here we've populated the Excel file. And then finally we can close the file. Okay, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.